to the shop everyone. In this build we are going to be working on a cherry entry cabinet. As you saw in the last couple of clips I went over onto the side of the yard into my long term lumber storage and I pulled out all the boards that I'll need for this project. So this monster board right here is 8 quarter and this is going to be for our legs and then behind me here I also have a bunch of super wide I think these are like 12 or 13 inches here uh, cherry boards at I think these are 15 sixteenths. I think it's called like hit and miss or something at the lumber yard. Um, I got one, two, three, four wide pieces and then two short pieces and I think this should be enough for this project. All right, so the first order of business is obviously going to be milling all this lumber up and behind me I have a beautifully clean workshop that is going to be messy within the next hour. So let me bring you along for that and we'll start milling up all of these boards. Hey guys, really quickly before we jump into this build, I'd first like to say that if you enjoy my projects and if you enjoy my builds, a great way to support me is by going over to my website and purchasing a t-shirt and all the proceeds that I get from there go directly back into builds just like this. Thank you guys so much for your support with my projects. And let's get back to this build. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record. Trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Hey guys, if you remember a few years back when I purchased my Oneida Cyclone, I actually did a video on YouTube about it, and Oneida Air Systems actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted a few of the accessories that go along with this. So what all they sent out to me included the stacking sound filter, the dust sentry bin level sensor, and also a steel drum. Now they did also send out a remote, but I actually had already gotten one with the unit when I purchased it, and I just clipped the remote onto my pants like this, and I have to say, this sensor in this remote is actually pretty dang good. Full disclosure, Oneida Air Systems did send these things out to me for free. However, I'm not being paid to say anything about them. If you guys are in the market for a dust collector or you just want to check them out further, I will leave a link down in the description to their website where you can check out the unit that I have and also the accessories that I got from them. We now have our angles established for this build. This is pretty much the foundation of where this project started. And as you can see, I have the cross stretchers up there and they kind of taper outwards. This is actually the back of the cabinet. And this here is the front. Now with this, the top is actually going to have that same 
angle. So with our angles now established, the next order of business is going to be the front and the back. And both of those are parallel, which are gonna be a lot easier because they're just traditional 90 degree mortise and tenons. Now for the angles, I did use the Festool Domino. They'll be plenty strong. And honestly, I kind of actually enjoy doing the mortise and tenons. So that is going to be the next part. So we're gonna have our two vertical supports here and here that join into the legs. And then we have our bottom piece here, the two cabinet doors, and then a cross piece here, and then one more at the top. And then that's gonna be also two drawers right there. The grain actually follows an arc like this, and the cabinet is actually gonna be perfectly symmetrical with the top having an arc right here. And the grain is gonna be matching that, which is gonna be really, really cool. You'll start to see some of the other features as I begin to build this cabinet, but right now let's go ahead and do the mortise and tenons.
So recently in my last couple projects in the glue ups I've been taping off all of the joints and instead of it going onto the wood it goes onto the tape and then when I peel this off it's a lot easier because I don't have to chisel or sand right into the corner. It saves a whole lot of time as well. It's a little bit more prep work before the glue up but it is, it is very good. So the back panel that you saw me just work on and the face frame are actually the parts that have the legs glued into them as you can see and this is going to make it a lot easier to then actually glue everything up because the only things that actually need glue are going to be the side panels right here. So let me go ahead and tape these off and then we'll glue up the entire thing. So by overhanging the tape like this, instead of spending more time trying to get it flush, if you can just overhang it like this and then cut it back with a knife or a chisel, you can then get a nice crisp edge in half the time. So you can see here that with taping off the edges, when the glue squeezes out, when the panel is placed on here, that glue will just go right onto the tape and it can be pulled off. And here is also a good way of showing the joinery that I actually chose for this with the uh, Festool dominoes. Like I said earlier, because these are at an angle, it would have been really hard to cut a tenon at this angle, so the dominoes make it a lot easier. And then that corresponds over here with the same tenons in the legs. Hold up, should probably put glue in these first. <laughs> There we go. Parallel clamps. So for a second there, I was worried that I actually clamped this up a little crooked. It turns out that I just needed to pull it in square in a diagonal direction. And before, like maybe 10, 15 seconds ago, this was wobbly. And then putting this clamp here, it's now sitting on all four legs, nice and sturdy. So I dodged a bullet there. So in the second part of this build, we are going to be working on the door fronts as well as the drawers. And the drawers are going to be pretty nice because they're going to have continuous grain and the doors are going to be cool because they're going to follow the same arc that the cabinet has. So there's a lot to look forward to in the second part. I hope you guys are enjoying this project. If you are, uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and also turn on the notifications so when I put out the second part to this project, you will know. Alright, that's all I got for this one and I will see you guys in the next video.